Are you ready to start exercising, to start moving, to start changing how you move your body, but you don't know where to start? You may have had pain in the past, you may have had an injury, you may have had pain that's been ongoing, or you may not have moved for a while. And what I want to know is, what's your biggest barrier? Like, what is your biggest block to when you want to move? So if you say to yourself, I want to start moving, I want to start exercising, what is it that is stopping you if you ask yourself? For most people it tends to be fear, the fear of the unknown or fear that you're not sure what you should do or a confidence issue where similar type of thing, you're not sure what you should be doing and you don't want to get it wrong. Um, and it's very, very common because when you start moving, a lot of the things that happen, especially if you haven't moved for a while, is they're quite high level. There's a lot of things that are, let's do boot camp, let's sign up for a program, let's go into the gym, let's just get you going. And there's nothing that really bridges that gap where you've been down here to actually being up here where you need to start. So it can be very daunting, it can be very scary because it already feels like you're making a massive leap because when you start moving again, especially if you haven't moved for a while, it's a big step. And we're not sure how our body's gonna react, we're not sure what's gonna happen, and we're not sure whether we're doing the right thing. So I have two options for you, if that sounds like something you fit into. Um, and who am I? Uh, my name is Sabri Hewlett. I've been a musculoskeletal physio for over 30 years, and I deal with people just like you every single day who want to move their bodies better. They want their body to be the best that it can be, but there might be a couple of issues stopping you from getting there. It might be that you have been sported before and you just want a little bit of help because you don't want old injuries to re to resurface. It might be that you've had a lot of pain and you're, you're sore and you're a bit concerned about how that might play out if you start moving again. And it's very common when you do start moving again, whether that be most of us will just say I'm going to go to the gym or I'm going to go to the group program or you might just start doing some walking or running on your own um, and if you're into that sort of personal trainer where you're in that sort of environment a lot of the times if there's something that comes about that you're not sure of or that is not working for you you'll just be told to skip it or miss it or you'll be told to repeat something or you'll be told to change it and do it a different way and you know, if you don't have a good experience when you start exercising, and a lot of the time we just smash it, it can be very distressing and it puts you back. So how do you get around that? Well, first off, you need to be aware of what is your previous experience with exercise? What has happened before? Are you someone that's very exercise aware? Have you been used to doing exercise in the past? In which case, you've got a fairly good idea what's going on with your body and how it reacts. And you know, you know that feel good, I've moved feeling as opposed to that's not good and I think I need to back off. For those of us that maybe haven't exercised or haven't done it recently or we're doing it with a slightly different body to when we last did it, we might need that little bit more TLC. So I've created a program which is called Get Moving Again and the aim is exactly that, it's to give you that little bit more of TLC, it's to give you all the basics and the grounding and the foundations that you need so when after six weeks when you've completed this you feel that you're in a good space to then go and join these higher level programs. It's not going from zero to here, it's giving you some foundations and stepping stones so that you can layer on and improve week upon week so that after six weeks you feel confident about how your body's moving, you feel confident about how your body's reacting and also confident that what you're doing is the right thing for you. And it can be something simple like we just need to tweak the, the way that you move. It might be that you know you have been doing your crunches where it's very compressive and that's why your spine hurts. It might be that you know you've been pulling and you know neck pain on sit-ups is quite common because we're not as strong through our tummy. It might be that when you're doing your lunges you're stepping forward which creates knee problems rather than stepping backwards. And it's all these tiny little modifications and tiny little tidbits that I'm going to give you that will make it a success for you over Feeling that you've gone into a gym situation and maybe you're not coping as well as you thought you might so what next 
So we start at the beginning of October for this round. If you are keen and you'd like to know more, then feel free to send me a message or a DM and I can let you and, and chat about what, what's involved. But basically it's six weeks, it's online. The only thing that you need for you is your mat, maybe some um, stretchy bands, maybe a little bit of a head support. If you've got a roller, that would be fabulous. But basically I'm trying to make it so it's a little bit more user friendly in terms of the global exercise world so whether you decide that you want to go to the gym whether you decide that personal trainer is your way forward whether you decide that group exercise boot camp is your way forward it will cover most of the basics and the information of how to progress and what to do if certain things aren't working for you what to look at and also the common mistakes and the common pitfalls or the common faults that we see with a lot of these exercises that can cause us problems so for example in lunges we can be tight through the hips we can be tight through the hamstrings. We might find that when we squat, we tuck our tails under. We might find that our knees come together. All of this can give us problems around the knees and the lower back. We might also have stiff ankles, which means that we might get sore in our calves or we might find that we fall backwards or we overuse our spine. So we'll be pointing out these things and these tidbits for you to watch for so that when you and when you find and when you look for it, you'll be aware of what it is that you can do and then you're able to correct it. So I would love for you to join us. It's my aim that basically everybody can move to the best that they can. And yes, sometimes we have to tweak things a little bit. Sometimes it might mean that we can still do things, we just have to do it in a slightly different way. Or we do things, we just have to be aware of certain things that maybe we weren't aware of before that then allow us to exercise freely. And once we've got that and we've got that information and knowledge under our belts then our confidence skyrockets and we're able to move forward with ease and confidence and pain free so join me we start in october um, and i would love to have you on board i'm going to be doing a couple of calls during the six weeks together so there'll be a, sort of an availability or an option for you to send in a question if there's something that you're not sure of and i would love to help you get yourself back on track take care